Okay, this is Darren. Um, I thought whilst I was having a shave this morning, I was thinking of people that do um, blogs, um, and in particular, my daughter and up your vlog, um, and someone who's, who's done a clothes haul recently. And I, t I laughed to myself and thought, I think I'm going to do a clothes haul and pick some items out of my drawers and cupboards that are in current use at the moment. So these are literally things that I do wear from time to time. So the first thing I thought I'll do is I'll, I'll go to my top drawer. So I've got a couple of items out of my top drawer. Um, these are authentic clothing. Um, they've st they've stood the test of time, as you will possibly see. Um, the first one is my lovely nineteen sixty six Heroes boxer shorts. Now, I haven't actually had them since nineteen sixty six, although they look as if I have had them since nineteen sixty six. Um, I'm not sure where I had them from. I'm not sure who got them for me. Um, and I can't even say where they're from because the label's worn out. So I can't even suggest where you would get these items from. Clearly, you can see that, you know, they have they have been used quite a lot. Um, I'm not sure the footballers are on the boxer shorts, um, to be fair. I think one of them's supposed to be uh, possibly Bobby Moore and maybe Jeff Hurst and Bobby Charlton. Um, but as you can see, they were a nice, nice pair of, of boxers to wear, um, especially if you're a football fan. Okay, so they, they are in my top drawer at the moment. The second is another pair of boxer shorts. Now these I know are from next because they have, as you can see, on the labelling next again these have have been worn quite well um, there's some faded marks around the old scrotum area um, you know you can see whether it's well I'm not sure whether it's faded marks or they haven't been washed properly but you know but they, they used to be a very dark blue now they're kind of a grey colour with a bit of a yellow tinge um, but you can see that they've been used quite well because they've even got some breathing um, holes at the bottom just to let out any sort of gases that may occur from time to time you know I have been known to let out the one or two little trumps uh, but yeah them are also in my top drawer um, I think the size of them are oh no I can't see because the labels faded <laughs> oh well but again another nice pair of boxer shorts that are used as probably backup now to be fair okay um also in my top drawers oh, oh, oh no <coughs> i'm sorry they must they shouldn't be on there i'm sorry about that um now i have got a couple of shirts that i wanted to show you um one of the shirts is is very very retro um i do like the shirt very much but sadly, because it's so retro, I think the last time I probably wore it was probably in the 80s. Um, I, know it's, I know it's a shirt that I think Ashley really likes um, and would perhaps like to inherit it one day. Um, and this is my Caribbean shirt. Now, this is superb. I really do like this. Um, it's a short sleeved shirt, as you can see. Um, I think this was purchased from um, a shop somewhere. It actually says the clothing company Traffic. So it's made by a designer called Traffic. I think by looking at the design, it's been it's been in a collision at some point. Um, but it's a shirt that I, I do like to wear. You know, it's um, it's very holiday typey. You know, um, I'm, sh I'm sure it still fits. Uh, but I, sh I shan't give you the pleasure of me trying to try it on now. Okay, so that's that's in my cupboard downstairs. So it's probably my backup cupboard where I've got a lot of shirts that don't often get worn. 
Okay, so that's that one. Now this this one is this is quite a current shirt at the moment, and it's one that I wore last year when we went on our um, wedding anniversary um, with Deb and Steve, um, and it's um, when we went to Prague. I think we went to Prague, but we also I also wore this when we went to Venice as well. Um, remember wearing this in in, in Venice um, when England got knocked out of either the Europe the, the Europa Cup or whatever it was or the the World Cup. I'm not too sure. Um, but this is my infamous cars shirt. Look at this. This is just classic. This is classic. This is from Next. You can clearly still see the label because it's not been worn them many times. In fact, I only dare to wear it when I'm overseas and not in this country in case somebody sees me. But, hey, I do like wearing this shirt when I'm on holiday. And it looks good when I've I've got a tan um, to, to, to sort of show off the colours um, and blend in with the colours of the of the, of the cars. And, you know, it's, a, it's I think it's a cracking shirt. Again, it's a short sleeve shirt. It's quite it's quite cool when wearing it overseas. Um, in terms of its, its sort of thickness it's not too thick but that's again that's like with the caribbean shirt this is downstairs as a backup sh as a backup shirt or in the holiday wardrobe okay i'm now going to take you back to probably 1991 uh, this is this is still with me under the bed uh, we have a lift up bed and this is stored under the bed because it's quite a sentimental top this is the top that um was that i wore and is the, is, is the team that i'm quite um supportive of um we we we, we beat stockport county one nil in some mickey mouse cup many many years ago as i say in 1991 and this is my stoke city top um, of that particular occasion uh, the, bron the the sponsors at that, that, that time were Ansel's Brewery. Uh, I don't think they go anymore um, because of how long this top uh, is is now. It's 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 going back a fair few years, but it's it's something that I'm proud to, to have kept. The red and white of the Potters. Uh, that's a, a memento, a keepsake. As I say, when Stoke City beat Stockport one 0 I remember the occasion went down to London on the coach with Steve and Minnie and a load of lads and we, we set off probably about half seven, eight o'clock and uh, within five or ten minutes of being on the coach down in the Ales all the way down to London, uh, one hell of a day, came back and I remember we went, uh, we were living at Turner Street at the time in Birch's Head and we went to a pub when we got back into Stoke-on-Trent about ten o'clock, back on the beer again. What a day that was. Okay, um, and and thinking of of occasions and 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 beer and what I've done, um, this is still this is still in my wardrobe. Um, admittedly, not been worn since it was worn on the occasion, but it was for many stag do, and it was Benidorm two thousand and eleven. Um, again, a memorable occasion that was. Three days of drinking, um, drinking, um, drinking, a bit of food, um, probably a little bit of sleep, and more drinking. And obviously, next year is the year that my daughter and her fiance, uh, Sam, get married. So, there we go, Sam. You need to get a t shirt like this. Sammy G Stag Do maybe is a, is a title, you know, Sammy G Stag Do. I'm not sure um, Benidorm is going to be something up to your sort of standards. Um, Sam, you may need to look a little bit lower, you know, in terms of where you go to, you know, Egypt, Caribbean, one of those sort of places, you know, a little bit more lower than Benidorm. Okay. Um, yeah, I've oh, got some classics here now. These are classics again. I've not worn these for a bit, but they're still in my wardrobe. Um, oh, they're made by some company called Deodora. Must have been bought from Sports Direct. And these are leggings, sports leggings. 
but they aren't any sort of old sports leggings these are leggings that have got zips at the bottom you can zip them up and zip them down they've got elasticated band um, yeah I don't think I'd be seen dead in these wearing them now but they're still in my wardrobe I don't know why um, I might give them to Alfie see if you can sell them on eBay um, get a few quid doing well at the time there they're only look at that as well look at that if you can see if you can quite see medium impressive impressive right this is a t-shirt now that I really do like and the reason I do like it is it's because Ashley has got the same t-shirt and when I saw him with this I thought I've got to have one I've got to have one so I think uh, the kids got it me as a, as, a, as a Father's Day present um, and this is the said t-shirt I love it I absolutely love it in my current wardrobe it's by Top Man uh, this is a large t-shirt um, dark dark blue with burgundy white stripes front and back um, it's a t-shirt that I really do like to wear bizarrely Ash has never worn his since he's, he's seen me and mine I don't know why um, we went on holiday t together and we wore the same top and we looked like twins I thought but I don't know whether the trauma of us wearing the same top at the time has made Ash not want to wear that top again um, it's lost lovely t-shirt um, I just wanted to end this particular first debut close all with um, randomly picking a couple of um, items out of my bedside cabinet um, in the bedside cabinet in the top drawer I have all my socks I've got loads of socks I've got loads of socks that have got holes in them and it seems that every pair of time put on it's got a bloody hole in them um, so I picked up two random pairs I don't know whether they got holes in or not we'll look and we'll, we'll check them out we'll inspect them so this is the first pair okay um, these are by, they are by next because it's got n on them you probably can't quite see if i try and zoom in a little bit closer can you see n they're, they're quite well worn um oh no they ain't got holes in them but you can see that the heel is probably getting close to breaking through so that's not good um, and if you look closely you can probably see that Mammy Redman has done some excellent darning on those socks so they can continue to be used. Look, oh, cracky, look, a little bit threadbare underneath there. I'm not sure Mammy's going to be able to do anything then with them when they sort of break through. But that's one pair in uh, the top drawer. And this last pair, again, I'm not sure whether these are next. It's got some sort of design on there this could be just a, a pack of three from some shop like tesco maybe um ooh, they are looking very suspect at the back the heel's about to break through there and go um but want to stop me wearing them um maybe a little bit of dawning has been done by mummy there but they're still working they're still wearable um just check the other sock um oh yes it's it's been dawned you can see it's been dawned some, some creative dawning there by, by by mammy redmond um but there's a little hole starting to poke through again so she might need to get that needle out um but they're still wearable heels going as well a bit there look mm, not looking good anyway that's my first close all for today um, I hope you enjoyed the items that are still in my cupboards still in my drawers and still in my wardrobes and until the next time bye for now <laughs>